left hand like this. Okay, so for this setup, I just have a, a two by 12 piece of uh, wood, and then I've got thin plywood here, and then an electric motor uh, that's got a counter weight on it, and I just run this with a power supply. This is a 12 volt motor. And then these are all different hacksaw blades that are cut at different lengths to show the different frequencies that we have for vibration. Uh, this, will, uh, this will trigger these things because uh, this motor is out of balance. This will trigger it to uh, run at different frequencies, which I can control right here with the dial. So, and then uh, now, if we look at, uh, if I just tap this thing, I can probably tap it at just the right frequency to get this long hacksaw blade to go. Uh, probably a little bit slower. Just a little bit faster than that. There we go, right there. And notice how I'm tapping with a certain number of times in a second. That, that's a frequency. And I'm going to try to do this with the motor now, see if I can get it at just the right speed. See, there it's too fast. You see how this one's going right here? Maybe I need to turn this like this so that all of you can see it a little better. Now, those of you that go into designing buildings and structures and things like that, you have to pay attention to uh, what the, like a, like a wind pushing on a building and then breaking away would, would cause, like uh, what that frequency would be. Because you don't want to design a building in a city that all of a sudden the, the breeze and the causes the building to do this because people on the top floor uh, are going to not pay their rent and they're going to leave. Uh, if we slow this down just a little bit, I'll see if I can get the, uh, get this other one to go. There it goes, right there. So this is longer and it's got a, uh, you know, it's got a lower frequency that that vibrates at. There we go, now it's going. Okay, now I'm gonna speed it up where the frequency is a little bit higher and then I'll get this next one to go. Oh, there it's really going. There we go, we've got the next one going. So if you're in a, this would be kind of an interesting problem in a city if you had all different building heights. Everybody on these buildings would be like, Oh, look at this. Well, we're having a nice day. Oh, look at, the, look at those poor people in that building. And now I'm going to speed it up just a little bit more. Okay, now we got the next one to go. And I'm going to speed it up a little bit more. And now you see I've got the fundamental frequency for this board. Because this board's vibrating right now. And I don't want to stay there very long because I don't want this board to fall apart. Now I've got the motor. You see what the motor's doing? There's the fundamental frequency for the motor. The motor's vibrating out of control. I don't want that to go on for very long. So I'm going to speed up and get past that. Well, there, the motor and this, the motor and this hacksaw blade right here have the same frequency. You got to get past this. Got past them. Now, notice the things that are going on right now. This short one is going, and we also have this one going again. And you can see a node right here, which is a fixed point. I can grab it right there, right on that node, and it's still vibrating. So, both of these have. Uh, This frequency for this one and this frequency for this one are related. Uh, this frequency would be uh, probably a multiple of this, probably twice as much. So these are some things you're studying with that spoon vibrating right now and uh, trying to figure out all the things going on with that motion.